Labels and annotation add a deeper layer of context to a plot, enabling the plot to convey extra meaning to its viewers. In this section, I am going to show you how to label plot features, add a legend to your plot and annotate, annotate features on your plot. But before that, let me give you an example where this comes in handy. Data journalists often add a lot of context and annotation to their data visualizations in order to aid and augment the story they are telling. For example, imagine you are a data journalist covering a story of tourism in central Florida. You would use a simple line chart to show the number of travelers over time. But if you are telling a story about the success of a grand opening of a new theme park, you may want to add some text about how many visitors came to the grand opening. You then also may want to add a pointer that ties that text into the date of the park's grand opening. There are two methods of, for labeling and annotating. Again, the functional method and the object-oriented method. I am going to show you both of those in the demonstration to come. But before that, let me give you some information about the methods we will use. We will use a dot annotate method and within that we are going to specify the parameters for XY. That's the location we want to annotate. XY text, the location of where we want the text added and arrow prop. This defines particularities about the arrow we will use. I am going to show you all of this, so don't worry too much. Also, adding legends to data graphics is of course very useful. So we will use the dot legend method and pass in a label parameter for the variables for categories we are labeling. And location for where we want that legend to be added. Let's get to work doing this in Python. We are going to NumPy and Pandas as usual. So we will import those libraries and again we are going to be using matplotlib and seaborn. So we will bring those in as well. Let's set our standard settings for the data visualizations in our Jupyter notebook. And we run all of these so that our notebook is set up for plotting. First I want to show you the functional method for labeling features in the plot. So let's create some objects to plot. And first, we will create an x variable and a y variable. x, again, will be a series of numbers between 1 and 9. And y will be a list of numbers. And I will just add these in real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. And go back through. Add the commas and let's just plot these out as a bar chart. So we will call a bar function and we will pass in x and y. In order to label the x axis, you just say plt.xlabel and then pass in a string that defines the text you want labeled on the axis. So we will just call this your x axis label. To label the y axis, it's very sim similar except for the function is plt.ylabel and then we will call that your y label. Then we can print this out and you see now we have our x and y axis labeled. Labeling a pie chart is a teeny bit different so let me show you that. We will create a new object called z and just add some numbers for the values we want plotted. Now we are going to create some labels for each element in this pie chart. We will call these labels a vehicle type and it's going to be a list object. So we will say v-type. It's a list and then we will just say the first element is going to be a bicycle, the second element a motorbike and then we will just add in. The third is a car, next a van and then a stroller and then we will call our plt by function. We will pass in the object that we want to have plotted and then we will just add the labels parameters and we will set the labels equal to array type. 
our list that contains our labels we want and then we will say plt.show to plot it out here we go we have a pie chart with some labels added okay so to show you how to create labels using the object oriented method we are going to use the cars data set that we have been using throughout this course so we want to load their data and then we are going to isolate the mpg variable from that data set by saying mpg is equal to cars.mpg and then like we discussed earlier for object oriented plotting we need to first create a blank figure object using the figure function and then add some access to it so let's say fig.a-axis function and then we are going to pass in the location where we want the axis to be added and then we are going to plot out our mpg variable but we want to say when we plot it out that we have a series of tick marks in order to do that we are going to use the set dash x ticks method and we will call that off of our x object so set dash x ticks and then we are going to generate a series of numbers between 1 and 31 so we will say range 32 now to add custom string labels to these tick marks you call the dot set dash tick labels method off of the access object and then you pass in the list or series object that contains the strings you want to be used as labels on your chart if you wanted to label tick marks on the x axis you could just call the set dash x ticks label function let me show you we will say x dot set dash x tick labels and we will access our car data set and we will say that we want the car names variable to be used as labels in our chart and I am just going to specify a rotation for the labels so in order to do that we pass in a rotations argument and we will say 60 for 60 degrees and make the font size medium the argument for that the parameter is font size and we will say font size is equal to medium I also want to add a title to the chart so in order to do that we use the set-title method and our object is x so we say x dot set dash title and then we pass in a string that score the title we want to use for our chart so we will say miles per gallon of cars in empty cars for our data set okay and then also let's just really quickly label the x and y axis so with this approach you use the set dash x label and set dash y label method so we would say x dot set dash x label and pass in the string for the name of the x axis which is car names and x dot set dash y label and the y label will make that miles per gallon and then we print out and that looks pretty nice right this is our mpg variable plotted out with each of the car names this is a car name label for each record in empty cars data set and you will notice here that our x's are labeled as well and our title has been added now let's look at how to add legions to upload we will return to our pie chart example so we will say plt.py pass in the z object and you can add a legion by calling the legion function on the list that defines legion entries you want label to set the position of a legion you pass in a location argument and you specify one of the many options options include best upper right upper left lower right and more you can see that in the documentation let's add a legend to this pie chart to do that we will say plt.legend and here we will just put loc equal to best that's how you set your location parameter and plt.show to print it out our 
pie chart. Now you can see that the labels we used before for labeling each segment in the pie chart have now been used in the legion. To show you how to add a legion using the object oriented method, I will reuse the plot we created from the mpg variable of the cars data frame. The first thing we always need to do is add a figure object. So plt.figure and then add our axis, add dash axis method. Specify the position for the axis and then move on. Now we are going to plot our mpg variable again. But this time let's add a legend. So let's take the same labels that we used from the plot earlier and then I will just show you how to add a legend to this plot. Copy and paste them down and then to add the legend you just call the legend method of, of the x object and pass in a loc equals best argument to tell python to position the legend in the place that looks best on the chart. So in this instance it's been positioned in the upper right corner and you see how simple it is to add a legend. The last thing I want to show you in this demonstration is how to annotate your plot. You are going to add some annotation to call up the max value of the mpg variable. Of course, to do that we first need to find out what the max value is and then we can work through the rest of the example. So in order to find the max value go call the max method of of mpg variable and we see that the max value is 33.8 and I am going to copy and paste down the code we used to generate this chart so we don't have to rewrite it all. For this example I want to leave a little more space in the chart so that I have some room to add an annotation. To create this space let's increase the max limit of our y axis to 45. We do that by calling the set y limb method of, of the x object. So set dash y limb and then we will say 0 to 45 for our limits. Now let's look at how to annotate this. Again the annotation method is dot annotate. So we will call the dot annotate method of, of our x object and the first thing we want to pass in is a string for the label that we want to be used as annotation. So let's label the Toyota Corolla car. You pass in the XY argument to demark the location you are annotating. So here we will say XY equal to and we will name the position 19 which is the record number of the max value and 33.9. You use the XY text parameter to specify the location where you want the annotation text to be placed. So let's place our annotation text at X value of 21, Y value of 35. We do this by saying XY text equal to 21, 35. And let's also add an arrow props argument. This specifies the properties of the arrow that we are drawing from the text to the point we are annotating. So we will write arrow props and create a dictionary. Say face color equals black and shrink equal to 0.5 and print this identify the max value as a Toyota Corolla. Now that you know how to add labels and annotation into your chart. I am going to show you a really simple way to plot time series in Python.